recently it was written in the news that Greenpoint has one of the highest rates of um, landowners illegally charging more rent at rent controlled matter of fact, units. It, but it you changed. lived you lived in a rent controlled or you still do, right? Yeah, you live in a rent controlled like unit. I have, matter of fact I went to the sixty six cent uh, John Street to talk to them about my the, the the program that I have, right? And they said no. He cannot increase uh, because he did capital uh, capital construction, something like that. So he wanted to. So your land, your landlord was trying to illegally increase your rent. Exactly. When did you discover this? Matter of fact, three days ago, he gave me the lease, and I said, "Wait a minute, I'm only supposed to pay seven hundred ninety-one dollars and fifty-six cents." There's no, you got to pay me nine hundred and ninety-five dollars. What do you? So, Maybe so I only, what did I only you get from the my retirement is only thirteen hundred. You know. So, well, anyway, and so, I said that the city said, no, no, you can't do that because I'm glad you're lucky that you, at least you came into this office. There's a lot of Latinos or, or whoever don't know about this. And they, they listen to the, to the, they pay attention to the landlord because they don't want to leave. So they pay for it when the landlord gets it illegal. So you get this letter in the mail saying this year your rent will go yeah. up. He gave and, it, he came and it looks official, and, and, and you think, okay, this is real, no, but, but it's I, not legal, right? It's not legal because I went to that office to find out if it's true or not. Can he do that? He says, no, no, he can't. So he says, keep paying what you get. He cannot do that because whatever increase he gets legally, we cover it. The state pays it. And do you see this is happening more and more oh, with your friends? Oh, you're kidding me. All over the place. All, the, all of this alone, uh, Franklin Street was mainly uh, Hispanics, uh, West Indies, and everybody was under the, the three-story high building. They got, they got shafted. I mean, they got destroyed. And a lot of them didn't know better. And they couldn't fight it because some of them have papers and some didn't have, some, some are illegal and some are legal. I was, I am legal. So he couldn't touch me. So I, but that's why I had that office that I went there to, to ask them because when I first started a few years ago, he started giving me a hassle. So I got involved with the NAG, NAG organization. And That's the uh, Neighbors Allied for Good Growth? Exactly. Um, they have yeah. the, those people are young, young Americans who care about the neighborhood and the people. So they, 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 I went to them. They said, no, no, he can't touch you. And one of them said in the office, hey, Manny, you Latino, man. Why don't you go to Los Sures? I went to Los Sures. Man, they had everything. They had immigration, legal, housing, full time, income tax for free, a whole bunch of things. And I got involved with them. As a matter of fact, I do volunteer work for, uh, with them. For Las Vegas? That's Las uh, in South Williamsburg. Yes, uh, yeah, Williamsburg on South Third. Their offices are North Fifth and I think Hudges. Hodge, 